Brock Purdy? Like, why is he? Why is he there? He's terrible. He's okay, awful. okay, okay. I hate Swifties. I hate the the existence of Taylor Swift in pop oh, culture right cult, now. But her cult songs, cult you commit a crime. You're sitting in the electric chair tomorrow. What is your last meal that you want to eat? Stephen A. Smith, you need to chill. Something is wrong with you. You only got one thing right there, and that's that you got a big ass forehead just like him. Like, dude, on if you go on Spotify to... right now, oh, you go on Spotify up, right up, now. Shut up, no, up, shut up, shut up. Yo, guys, welcome back to the Famous Chili Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all of our content on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Guys, it's Sunday night when we're recording this. We just wrapped up watching the two championship games, the two conference championships for the NFL. <laughs> what a day, wow. man. Oh, my God. We know the Super Bowl Terrible. now. <laughs> Terrible day. Terrible day. Terrible, Literally terrible the day. opposite of what everyone wanted happens. This is, yeah, I was just everyone's say, worst opposite. nightmare. Everyone's worst nightmare just happened, guys. We are getting a Swifty Super Bowl. You know, the one man who could have saved us all didn't save us. He didn't save us at all. La Marvelous, La yeah. America, La Everything, bro. All those TikToks and everything gone to waste. And you know what? I really blame those guys because I think they jinxed it. I think with all those, <laughs> you think he's the only it? one who can save us TikToks. Jinxed it. Jinxed it. I just, I don't know. I, I, I was, I was like, I was so mad while, during watching yeah. the game. I was just like, yeah, I was like, sad. this defense is playing amazing. This defense is on the field in the first half for for like twenty minutes plus, right? And their offense is on there for like nine. Yeah. Okay, their defense is not on there for twenty minutes. Uh were they? I think it was around twenty minutes, wasn't it? Probably. They, they, uh, yeah. Like and, and the offense was on there for like nine. The defense yeah. still held the Chiefs' defense, uh, held the Chiefs' offense to so many three and outs. So many. Yeah. And the Ravens offense just could not convert. Not not even convert. They couldn't get a first down for God's sake. That was atrocious. There was no run game. Yeah. There was no pass game. Lamar was overthrowing everyone, making bad reads, trying to extend every play, bro. Like that wasn't very Mahomey of him, I think. I just I don't know. I, I think a big problem is pe- people underestimated the Chiefs defense, man. I said going into this I said going into this playoff season, the Chiefs are dangerous this year, but not for their typical reason. It's not just because their their offensive, like their pass game is something that to watch out for. There's some big threat there. You always gotta worry about Mahomes and Kelsey. You know, Mahomes and Maado, you always gotta worry about them, man. But this year, their defense is actually a threat. Usually their defense is their issue, the thing holding them back. But this year they have one of the best defenses in the league. And so that just makes them even more scary, which is why I said, don't count them out the second we enter the playoffs. And here we are. They're entering the Super Bowl now. Yo, guys, we just want to take a little break from today's video to thank our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is here to help you buy tickets in the easiest way possible. All you have to do is just download the SeatGeek app and SeatGeek will help you find affordable tickets to all your favorite events. Maybe you want to go see Lil TJ perform live or you want to go see Nimesh Patel on his Fast and Loose comedy tour. SeatGeek has got you covered. And it's so simple. All you have to do is just download the SeatGeek app and start searching. SeatGeek will filter through hundreds of different tickets to help you find the best deals. And remember, green means good and red means bad. And on top of that, SeatGeek will also let you see the view of your seats before you even purchase them so you know exactly what you're getting. So if you're interested in getting the best deals on tickets to your favorite events, download the SeatGeek app from the link in our description and use our code FAMOUSCHILI for $20 off your first purchase. Thanks, SeatGeek, and let's get back to the video. Everyone wanted the Ravens-Lions game, I Everyone. think, more so than what we Everyone. have right now. And it's just Everyone. and you know, everything guys, that well, could have gone no, wrong. No, wrong. No. To be honest, I would have rather I would have rather had Chiefs Lions because Shut I up. think I Shut think up. Ravens Lions would have been a blowout. I'm not gonna lie. I I think Chiefs Lions would have been a more interesting Whoa. game. Whoa! I think you Chiefs are Lions really, really underestimating that Lions offense, bro. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not I'm not, no, no. I'm not underestimating them. I'm just saying I don't think Ravens. I think Ravens got an off game against the Chiefs because of the mental game. I think they're really intimidated more by the idea of really beating wild, Patrick though. Mahomes and the Chiefs yeah. than they would be against the Lions. The Lions, in my opinion, they're very scary because of their offense, but it's not the same mental game that you have with the Chiefs. Because in order there, to there. make Lamar and the Ravens lose this year, you have to play that kind of game. Because off skill, they're trumping every team out there by a mile. It's not even yeah. close if you're going off skill. Yeah. And so you have to have that kind of fear instilled in him. And I don't think the Lions can do that to him. But you I need that like, so. energy that Mahomes carries in. I have to say, bro, and I have to say, this is a real full circle moment for me as a Patriots fan because growing up, I would like 
obviously boast about the Patriots making it every year, you know, like as per usual, like it was, it was a thing and everyone would hate me for it. Like I was literally hated for it for so long because all I would do was just talk nonsense about the Patriots. But now like looking back on it, like the, the AFC championship game of the Patriots versus the Chiefs, the whole world wanted oh, us to lose. Everybody such wanted a us good to game. lose. And I was just like, all right, sucks for you guys. But now I'm looking at him like, wow, like, like the like he literally became the villain bro like the same thing that happened to the patriots is happening to the chiefs and i understand now and i'm sorry guys for all the turmoil i'm giving you over the last 10 to 12 years <laughs> and all my boasting and my wow. arrogance and everything like i apologize because i understand it pains me to see patrick Mahomes in the super bowl this year it pains me i'm, do, I'm just we, taking this in are we getting to as, as a we're, we're getting an apology from a Patriots fan about this. Now. this is, and Prem's not even here to see it. Dude, yeah, he Prem's is gonna watch so this back. close. <laughs> he is so close to Brady's legacy. It is scaring the fuck out of me, man. Dude, Dude that's what I was first, just about to say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the no, first six ahead, seasons, bro. First six seasons, bro. Brady had three Super Bowl rings. Mahomes had two. Uh, Mahomes has been to four AFC championships. Brady's been to three. The record, Mahomes had a better record. Mahomes had more passing touchdowns. Mahomes had more yards. Mahomes had almost beat, beat Brady in like almost every single other category. He did. Except he did Super Bowls in everything. the first except for rings. In the first six years. And that's except still not over rings. yet. He can still he can still tie him it's, on rings. It's now. scary. It's scary. But the only thing yeah. I can say and I can yeah. hold everybody everybody is that Tom Brady is two and zero against Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs, and that that little sliver <laughs> will always put Brady above Mahomes for the rest of his career. For the rest of his career, Mahomes <laughs> couldn't be Brady. It's okay, as simple as that. Okay, okay, okay. He couldn't be Brady. Yeah. Okay. To be fair, that can't change. So <laughs> that can't yeah, change that's now. Yeah. We also have to see well, how Mahomes does in the long run. I was saying we also have to see how Mahomes does in the long run because he's still like six years in. It's still yeah. Brady was in the league for a long time versus Mahomes has only been here for so long. He is. I think he's reaching the skill level that surpasses Brady. But I don't know if you could say he's the greatest. And- I, so I think um, our friend Monday had a great way of putting it, honestly. Yeah. Like someone in our chat said, Mahomes is not the greatest of all time, but he's the best of all time. Which it's it yeah. might sound weird at first, but he doesn't have that same like awe factor or like greatness factor that Brady has. When you hear Brady, you think this is the greatest, this is the GOAT. But when you watch them play, I can already tell now Mahomes is the better quarterback than Brady. Like it, it, yeah. I, I could tell yeah. years ago he was the better quarterback than Brady. Like it's always been there. You can always tell. Same way, Aaron Rodgers is a better quarterback in a regular season than Brady, but he's not the greatest of all time. I wouldn't say he's the goat, even though he. You can say in in his game he's better. I think it's the same thing. Yeah, it's it's, it's a really good way to put it, to be honest. Because like obviously, like Mahomes beats him in every category physically, but mentally, like so you you just can't beat the mind of Tom Brady. Like he's put so many years into yeah. it. And yeah. someone today actually told me a it's really really good. A really good way to look at it, um, you know, if you're a basketball fan and not a football fan, um, he was telling me, he's like, I was like, oh, yeah, I was comparing Jordan and LeBron to Brady and Mahomes. He's like, no, Mahomes is Steph Curry and Brady is LeBron James. And every and a lot of the times they faced off, it's been great battles, great battles. And Steph Curry's like that dynamic player that you want to see. Steph Curry's that guy that really changed the game, you know, like the Mahomes made everything Mahomey. You know, Steph Curry is a household name for his three-point shot. You know, it's like that type of player, but it doesn't beat the longevity and the mentality of the, of the big dogs, Brady and LeBron. Yeah, but it's been a great season for the Ravens and the Lions. Any closing remarks you have for their seasons to wrap up? How do you think they should take this season and go into the next thing? What, what do you the think Lions they need to both just, work on for next season? The Lions should just learn to, to – Try to go for the field goal when possible. To kick the damn field goal. <laughs> like I get it, man. I get it. I I get it. You got balls of steel, but sometimes balls of steel means to kick the damn field yeah. goal. It yeah. was that's a rookie mistake, bro. Like that's just that's a the field goal is right there. You have to take that. You are not. It's one of those that. things. It's one of those things points. where the entire game we saw them convert like like play after play. Like they were converting so quickly. And then you get to a point where, like that, and that's just like objective truth. They converted very quickly. But the issue is when you get to the stage where it's like you make this field goal, you tie game. Worst case, it ends in a tie there, and it goes it goes into OT. But like, there's no point in trying to risk the win right then and there. No. Like there's I'm a, sure you guys a, can. It's better to extend that game than to lose that game, right? It's save like, yourself that's, as that's, much time as you can. Yeah, exactly. Dude, and he does exactly. it so many times. I forget who he played in the regular season, but I remember. 
watching like I watched towards the end of the game and they had a chance at the goal line to score a touchdown. They go on fourth and goal, flag. They get to go again. Fourth and goal, flag. They go again to try to go for the win, try to go for a touchdown. Flag again the third time. I'm, I, after three times, I'm like, yo, like you're getting stopped yeah. three out of three times. Kick the damn field goal. You and could argue went for the- it again and lost the game. Yeah, you could argue, honestly, the same thing happened for the the Cowboys game. Like that, obviously, the refs got involved and that ruined it. But Uh, surely after two failed two-point conversions, you take the field goal and go for the overtime game. Yeah. Like, they're too greedy. They're too greedy. Take the goddamn hint. Take the goddamn hint. But honestly, dude, the Lions (coughs) outstanding team. Like, dude, they went from being... Three and 13 and one to nine and eight to now, what, 12 and five on this season? Think a two year rebuild like that. Almost went to the Super Bowl if it wasn't for God, Brock Purdy. Like, why is he Why is he there? Why is he in the Super Bowl? Get him out. Really? Brock Purdy is another be. crazy story, man. He's terrible. Crazy story. He's awful. Okay, okay, okay. We could get more into this next week, but no, he's not. You can't say he's terrible. You can't. Not after how he played. Not after how he played. Not after how he played. I can argue this to my grave. Uh, you'll bad. have to. You have to. <laughs> next week, though. Next week. <laughs> next week. <laughs> this way, man. I'm bringing my A game. Every stat, everything to prove that Brock Purdy is he's not a top five quarterback. He's going to get his head in the book, start studying for this for this debate. Yeah. I mean, after all, guys, we're, we're, we're not experts on football here. We're not claiming to. We're, we're just fans of the game. You know, we're not we're not experts like some other people out there who claim to be experts. I'm, I'm talking about Stephen A. Smith, guys. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, he, he's been running his mouth too much, okay? Stephen A. Smith, you need to chill, okay? I'm going to explain this in terms maybe you can understand. Something is wrong with you. Okay. Okay. I, I, trust me. After all these years, yeah, you're entertaining all this shit. I don't care anymore. Okay. You've been running your mouth. Okay. I didn't say anything when you said, Oh, Kyrie and Katie are coming to the Knicks. It's confirmed. And what happened? They went to the nest. I didn't say anything when you say, Oh, Michael Jordan is definitively the goat. LeBron shouldn't be considered. I don't care about LeBron. I didn't say anything, but now. You come to my world, okay? You're going to talk shit on Pokemon. You're going to talk shit on cars. That's where I draw the line. Calling Charmander, Charmander. You only got one thing right there, and that's that you got a big-ass forehead just like him, okay? <laughs> so if you want to come step into our world here in the cars world, you don't know shit about cars, man. What are you saying? St- strip weathers. Strip weathers? You're going to bring them up just because you got seven piston cups like McQueen? Nish, back me up here. How, how, how many race, how many piston cup tracks circuits did they have to go through before strip weathers got his seven piston cups i have no idea what that count is but it's uh, undoubtedly the goat is mcqueen mcqueen solos the entire car's undoubtedly 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 Undoubtedly. comes back comes back (laughs) from a let let me me look it up let's put this into perspective mcqueen gets lost on his race to win before he wins a piston cup and he spends an entire week in the middle of nowhere in radiator freaking springs working his ass off to build a road. And after all of that, after living an entire week without the luxury of every other racer at that event, he still pulls through and yeah. is able to win. And you know, everybody after else all that, that time. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Finish up. Finish up. I was saying, and after all that, the sportsmanship he shows, it's, it's beautiful. McQueen is undoubtedly yep. the GOAT undoubtedly first of all he would have had eight if he didn't have to drag his sorry ass across the finish line to begin with he would have had eight that already puts him over and mcqueen did it in way less way less circus than strip weathers okay i give him nine for character nine for character nine for character character. give him the character character trophy give him the character character trophy trophy. give it to him give it to him okay and and now second of all okay now this weekend I, 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 i didn't say we didn't say anything when you brought up the cars okay we thought okay you know what that's your strike one. We'll give you that. We'll give you that. You want to get involved in the, you want to have some funds, mention strip weathers, act like you know something about this world. But now you come into my world, man. You're coming into Pokemon. You, you, you bring up the, the three starter Pokemon. You, you, you bring up Charmander. Charmander. Why'd you give, where is the S? Where is the oh, S? Where is the S? Charmander. Come on. Okay. No, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, how? Okay. Seriously, of everybody in Professor Oak's lab, open shot fate of the universe or arceus with the hyper beam pointed at the earth you better hit it i want bulbasaur okay <laughs> but no, not no shamander not no shamander give me bulbasaur i'm telling you <laughs> like, what, what, what is he doing what is he doing here <laughs> shamander what the hell is this you're not you're not on the pro show up late get pikachu's like gang 
No, 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 no. If you want to be lazy, then fine, do that. Do that, man, do that. Be, be, go pick Pikachu if you want to be a lazy fuck. But no, Dang. you either take right. Charmander, not Shamander, acting like he's out of a goddamn Key and Peele football name skit, Shamander. What the hell is that? <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, man. I mean, like, listen, like, there has to be, like, as a reporter, you got to have a level of knowledge. You can't be making you. mistakes like that. Like, you really, really have to up your game because slowly I'm going to lose my respect for you. Because if all I'm going to see that's really credible is you laughing after the Dallas Cowboys win, that's all I'm going to remember you for. You're just a Dallas Cowboys hater. Actually, you're just a hater in general, man. Like, just learn to love the beauties of Pokemon and maybe call Thank it you. Charmander instead of Shamander. You know, seriously, man, like, like it's, it's not hard. It's not hard. It's okay? not hard. Something, something was wrong with you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe if we threw like 50 ands in the middle of it, then you'd understand. And, 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 and it pains me to say this. Then, then will you get it? No. Okay. <laughs> it, it's Charmander. If you throw 50 ands in the middle of his name, then maybe you could pronounce it properly. Cause clearly then you have no problem saying things right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just a lost cause when it comes to these franchises. Lost he doesn't cause, understand him. Cause. He does not understand him. He has not he been time to research this. I, re I respect him for trying to venture into our world, get involved in these discussions, yeah, yeah. but be educated. Be educated if you're going to give your yeah, professional be educated, opinion. Man. Be educated. Educate yourself. Come in with he's a level of knowledge to compete. You know, like yeah. you need to understand what you're talking about. And he just you're coming to himself, our table. Man. You better bring some notes, okay? Look, yeah. man, he himself, he's becoming the Dallas Cowboys. He's part of that cycle, you know? And he starts off the conversation really well. He looks good. You know, looks good during the regular season. Everyone's like, yeah, this is the time where he's going to make, you know, have a good take on first take, you know? He goes in. Playoffs come. Here comes the money ball, the money shot. Bank. Nothing. Hits the, hits the rim. Goes off the side. Loses the game. Fate of the universe. Universe is dead because of you, Stephen. Smith. Universe is dead. Because you universe chose the wrong Pokemon. Shamander. Wrong one. Kind of ridiculous is in that. Stephen Wrong A. Smith, one. you just got Stephen A. Smith, man. Like, it just happened yeah. to you. Uh, well, you, world ended people, because you, you, didn't even, you didn't even pick a Pokemon. Who the fuck is Shamander? <laughs> who, who the fuck is Shamander? Like, <laughs> I can't believe that, man. What, 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 yeah. what, what, what topic do you think Stephen A. should try to choose out of next? He's, he's already tackled the Piston Cups. He's already tackled the, the world of cars. He's entered the world of Pokemon. Who do you think he should go after next? I think best Toy Story is a place to go. I think there's a, a lot of debate Ooh. in that in that area. Um, mm. You know, just talking about the Toy Story villains, talking about the, the issues at hand in, in the Toy Story universe. There's a lot to do there. I think uh, he may have some good takes there. He may have some bad ones. And at with this current like track record, definitely some bad. Looking ones. like it's, it's looking definitely like the latter. Definitely yeah. some bad ones. It's looking like the latter. I think I, I think I got one that I, he really needs to answer. And Rishi, I know you're going to back me up on this. Stephen I'm A. Smith, I want I want you to tell us who should have been the Green Ninja. Oh, that is a Stephen A. Smith. One. Who should have been the Green Ninja? Oh, who should have been the Every, Green Ninja? I, I need everybody to tag Stephen A. Smith if you're watching. And and and, 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 and I think it should have been no. Zane. No, no, no. And 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 Kai. and and Kai. and, 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 and. <laughs> Zane. What Zane? That's what? some ridiculousness. No, nah, that's, that's what I'm not saying. That was always Zane for me. No, it was always Zane for me. Nah, man. It was always Zane for me. Look, man. Zane's a robot. As an adult, I could recognize he shouldn't have been it. But it was always in for me when I was a kid. Nah, man. Hold on, hold matter. on. Wait, Dude. give me, give me, give me two seconds to think. What is Zane made of? What, 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 what is his body made of? Does he have a heart? Metal lungs? Does he organs? Does he? Is he? Well, what's is he a matter? robot or is he a ninja? I don't even remember. He's an android. Trust me, I, I, I love him. Hey, I, I'll be the first to tell Yo, you, I love Zane. If you I watch, love if you watch the Jago, you know he's a ninja from his heart, bro, which he doesn't have, but he's a ninja. <laughs> No, okay. that's what I'm saying. I, I, he, dude, he's a very respectable character. I love his story, but the Green Ninja was always meant to be Kai. No, Whoa. no. Always meant to be Kai. Wait, guys, no. guys. Okay, Rishi, what okay, if it's not Zane, if it's not Kai, then who is it? Rishi, who oh, is it? Please don't tell me Jay. Jay. Please don't tell me it's Jay. It's rightfully Lloyd, guys. Like, it's very rightfully Lloyd. The storyline okay. of Garmadon's oh, son okay. becoming his greatest, greatest foe. What's B Kai? What's Kai going to do against Lloyd you know Garmadon? I, I appreciate it's that. I, I do appreciate that because realistically, I do think Lloyd is the greatest answer. I do think Lloyd's the best answer. You get that it's full story Lloyd development, but answer. but but if if Lloyd wasn't there, because think about it, nobody was expecting Lloyd. Nobody watching that show at the edge of their seat was predicting Lloyd. I don't I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Stephen A. Smith. I don't care if you're fucking the creator of Ninjago. You weren't thinking it's Lloyd. 
Dude, it came to him in I'm a just dream. telling you, I think Kai wanted it too bad. I didn't think he had the composure yeah. of being a green ninja. I think he's impulsive. I think he's egotistical. I don't you, want you want to talk about impulsive? You want to talk about impulsive? You want to talk about oh, impulsive? Lloyd is a kid. Lloyd? Sure. Lloyd, Lloyd is a kid. Super impulsive. Super impulsive. But he's been through so much trauma, and he knows that he has to defeat his dad. And to overcome that itself, to defeat his dad, makes him the best True. ninja out of all of them. Out of all but of so them. Is- Hands down. Lloyd deserves so to be the green Kai. Man. Kai has gone through so much as well. And yeah, he wanted it too bad. I get that. But at the same time, isn't that what you need from the Green Ninja? Don't you need them to no, for those no, goals? No, no, Kai's no, biggest big goal was the hands of time, man. Come on. That's no f- f- that's not even close to Garmadon. Not even close to Garmadon. The hands of time? No. No. Just because they can't rookies. rookies. Rookies, bro. Rookies. Amateur oh. hour. And don't even get me started. Lloyd was I'm quite tomorrow. literally an amateur, bro. Lloyd was well, quite literally an amateur. I'm sorry. Well, a- age got pushed through him. He got turned into a teenager. Yeah. And, and he didn't have to worry about it anymore, man. See, that's what I disagree with. Just because he got older doesn't mean he matured. And that's But the he that clearly was, did over the years. He's it's For his actual true age, he's a very mature guy, man. For his true oh, age. But he was, know, to be, he, was, he was forced to be in a position he should not have been in objectively right but some, but sometimes sometimes that just means you're doing the right thing you don't always have to be the one who wants it we see it in all the major shows man harry potter number one how does harry get the stone because only the person who wants to retrieve the stone but not use it can get it the person who's not going to abuse Love the power worthy. that's why Love kai doesn't worthy. get it that's why kai doesn't get it game of thrones i know you guys didn't watch it but game of thrones the guy who's doesn't want it Ends up getting the throne in the end. Ends up winning, and and most people aren't happy with that. To be fair, no, most people say it's a really bad ending. <laughs> most people are really upset about it. But but that was that was what happened. It's just how it works. Kai should never have been in the conversation. I don't care. I don't care who you are. Yeah. People who say that were just little kids who were obsessed with. Oh my god, the guy with spiky hair and red is red and fire. That's sick. But that's realistically, Zane agree. was the most mature out of all the ninja. I don't think it's about maturity. I most responsible. Kai was, no, Kai was the my most favorite mature. character. No, Zane was. is also very, Zane. very. Zane is the most mature. mature. It's not Zane. Zane it's is. not Zane. Who is it then? It's Zane Lord. is definitely the most mature. No, I'm saying out of the four, out of the four ninja. Oh, then Zane. But even yeah, even Kai with Lloyd, Zane's more mature. Zane's more mature. Zane I'm is more there. mature. I'm, he he acts as, yeah. he acts like a, as the wise man when Wu's not there, man, offering the advice. All right. Fine, fine, fine. But I just have to say, Kai they, was my. They wrote character. the advice in his code. Yeah, he was coded with the advice the, the advice switch. You probably don't. You haven't right. seen that switch, but. You know, I, when we, I respectfully when we have to, back off yeah. and agree with your opinion. Hey, um, speaking, that's two from Rishi today. That's two from Rishi today. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe Trump's not witnessing this, man. This is I'm history being today, made. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, really pissed off after, the Lions, <laughs> after the Lions and Ravens games. I'm humbled today. I'm Guys, this, to this, actually, this actually reminded me of something. So we're just talking about Lloyd and how he aged really quickly. He got forced to become older. He was forced to grow up older the quicker than he should have lost his childhood. There's this thing going around. There's a study saying that Generation Z, our generation, Gen Zs, are aging faster than other generations. We look older for our age than other generations have. We look more stressed. And a big part of it is because people are assuming technology, dependence on screens, lack of exercise and activity, immobility. And a big one is they're saying we are actually more stressed than other generations. What do you guys think of that? See, this is the thing. We may be aging quicker, but I th- we're still going to live longer. We're just, with the way medicine works and the way we are moving forward and progressing with technology in general, no matter how fast we age, we are just getting longer and longer lifespans. And I don't think that that will necessarily show in the long run because we're, because of that fact. Do you, you think it's I mean? true though that we are aging faster? Do you think it shows on us more than in previous generations? Do you think yeah, we look more stressed and you think we're under more stress than like our parents were, or maybe not our parents because like different situations, but like on an average yeah, majority of human history. Previous generation was. I think. I think I do believe that an increase in uh, prosperity of many nations, like first world nations generally do have higher stress levels than those of third world countries, Mm. because when you're fighting for a survival, yeah, it's one thing, but once you're past that level and you're between survival and like, you know, reaching that, like always try, like always fighting for success, there's that middle ground where it's just, you're living life. You know, it's that, it's that old Mm. tale of like the Mexican fisherman and that one business guy. And it's like, 
the business guy goes to the Mexican fisherman Hello? and says, "Why?" Are... She's back. <laughs> he <Hola>. appeared. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounded a little. We're, we're talking about how uh, throwing pains of being online, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're, t- we're, we're we're just talking about how uh, Gen Z is growing, apparently aging faster than previous generations, and how some people are yeah. saying it's because we're more stressed and maybe get less activity. So we're just talking about if we actually agree with that and if we think there's any merit to that. You know? one, one, yeah. one million percent, guys. When your mom said, when your mom blames your phone on everything, like she was right, guys. It was the phone. <laughs> like it was a hundred million percent the phone, bro. Like it's just, it's just a lack of like, of like positive brain activity, a lack of like exercise, lack of going outside. It's a lack of eating properly, you know, and then, and on top of that, there's also just like these influencers pushing these like beauty products, skincare, mm. everything. And like the more you see these influencers do it, the more you feel like you're out of the loop or you're not doing things to preserve yourself. And like sometimes you have to think, right? You know, like that these companies are probably taking advantage of the fact that everyone thinks that they're getting older or feeling older. 100%. Yeah. yeah. And in reality, there's a, there's other reasons. It's not just like your looks, you know, it's not just taking care of your skin, but obviously they're going to pinpoint it on that to sell their products. But it's like, dude, like go outside, like, please go outside. Like, like if you're all in, in your room on your computer all day working, like, even if it's important work, go outside, get a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Like, people lack that. Go music. watch famous chili podcast outside. Take, take, the outside. Outside yeah. take, watch, take the fun outside and watch it. I feel like, I feel like <laughs> we've had this conversation about kids growing up too much. Right. Cause like, when we were kids, we used to see, we used to be outside every day. You know, we used it was to be the outside best. all the time. It was the best. It was yeah. the best time. And we were just outside, not on the screens. Only time we'd be on screens is if we're with friends and playing games together or yeah. something like that, you know, or watching videos on my mom's phone occasionally. But now, dude, I, I remember I had, to, I had to be scared to like go on TV. Oh, yeah. My parents would be That's like, right. you can watch one show and I would try to scan the system. Like I would have like <laughs> rags or like lemonade mouth recorded. And I was like, well, technically, even though this is a movie, it's like an hour and a half long. It's one show. Like I'm just <laughs> clicking one thing to the start it. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I'm good there, you know, so I, I, I bypass the system a little bit. But I, I, I used to always say anymore. like. I used to always say like one episode was like 50 minutes so I can watch two episodes <laughs> in one and they'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. no problem. And then they actually find out and I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> and we lost him again. And, and we lost gone. him, right? right? And what was he just? What was he just? <laughs> what was he just? And I was just. <laughs> and I was just what? <laughs> he was just gone. Oh, what what were you just? I hate cutting just? out, guys. Just what were you just? What were you just? <laughs> um, I was just like, oh, I remember we were just saying how like, kids these days like do we like do we see them outside oh we don't see anybody outside they're inside 24 7 and i can test that yeah. because i have a sister she doesn't go outside yeah. she's inside all the time here's the thing we've talked about this many of times um i think we've all come to that agreement that there is a severe lack of of touching grass of this this generation <laughs> um and it's only getting worse um, and hopefully the, the solution to it is not just putting on a VR headset and touching artificial grass <laughs> in <virtual> reality, because <laughs> that, that would only make situations worse, but yeah, yeah, I, sure, I agree I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you mentioned the skincare thing. Cause I think that actually was part of the study. People were saying that because of all these influencers and doing all these random skincare and skincare routine stuff and making people start at an early age, like, yeah, it's good to take care of yourself. But starting at such an early age, introducing these products to you is not actually good. And people are saying no. that's causing younger people to actually age worse. You know, yeah. it, it can it hurt is. your skin at that age. And also, do you not think it's a little bit weird? Like, I'm seeing kids on TikTok dressed better than us and like dressed like complete drippy out there, streetwear, like going, dressing however they want. And that's what they're getting for Christmas. They're getting stuff for like clothes and things like that so that they can walk up all dripped out in school. And I'm thinking, yeah, man, where's where the highlight? Where are the highlighter where's the shorts? Where's the highlighter shorts? Where's the where's where, the Nike where, Elite socks? Thank you, thank you. Where's the Nike Elites? Where's the highlighter shorts? Bring bring them back. No, sorry, I actually have an interesting point about that, and that's what, like like you know you're saying like they're aging worse because of that. The whole point of skincare routines and like these skincare products is that for certain reasons you use certain things. So, like if you have bags in your eyes, then you use a certain product to try and get rid of those. But these kids these days are just coupling all the products possible. Yeah, like everything niacinamide salicylic acid they're using stuff for their hair for their eyes they're using face masks everything and they're doing this consistently at night and they're trying to fix problems which aren't even there they're just doing it because they think it's just going to make their face but nobody's researching these things they see them online they see everybody using them and they just buy them 
Yeah, Dude, I mean, it, sister... it should be on the parents realistically. It should be on the parents yeah. to like watch out for this stuff. My sister would be like washing her face and she's like, oh, my skin is so bad. And I'm like, no, you do not have a single like yeah. issue with your face right <laughs> now. And it's like, what? like where? Where's the problem? What? Your face is a little my red. Si- you pro- Maybe it's because you just got back from soccer practice and you were just running around for three hours. <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's actually right? ridiculous. I have, I have like one thing that I use. One thing that I use for my skin. And it's just this aloe vera gel. It's like this. Yeah. Uh, this, this thing is my one. really, really good for your face. Freshens your face. And like it's really good for your eye bags as well. And like I just use this. I don't need anything else because the rest of my face is fine. Like, I don't need to worry By about the way, that. YouTube, TikTok, we're not promoting that. We're not affiliated with them. This is yeah, just where he speaking his truth. It's just uh, it's just yeah, our, we, we, it's, we it's don't have any we don't have any bias towards any brands yet. Dude, this is from the Indian. Unless University. a brand would like to sponsor us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could change. That could change. <laughs> Yeah, if um, you are, if you're a skincare brand and would like to sponsor us, we will do your bidding. Oh, I, you. oh did, did I mention how much I love skincare and think all kids I, should use it? <laughs> all kids should use skincare. Hey, if you're a kid watching this, use a skincare product. <laughs> no. Well, I, I honestly think it's a, important to bring awareness to this. Like, you shouldn't like people are just blindly following creators yeah. these days. Like the influence creators have. Like, I'm sure like maybe one day we reach a million followers, people will blindly follow what we say as well. You know, people will use our conversation, like what we talk about as like facts for their conversation. You know, that's how sometimes it works on a podcast. Like, oh, I heard it on a podcast yeah. once, you know, but a lot of the times those are opinions. You know, people selling this stuff, like the TikTok shop, bro, they're, they're getting money from this. Oh my God. Care about your yeah, face. It's insane. They care about your face at all. They're like, buy from the TikTok shop. It's cheaper. They're the ones getting yeah. money. They don't yeah, care. They get their affiliate commission. They're, they're chilling, yeah, man. That's all they're they chilling. want. You're yeah. so right, though, Rishi. A lot of these podcasts, people think of them as truth. Um, yeah. We, for one, can tell you that half of what we say is probably wrong. Like, we, we probably <laughs> deal a good amount of bullshit. <laughs> no, I speak only in truth. <laughs> <laughs> nothing that ever comes out of my mouth is wrong. I've, I've, never, I've never lied. I've never lied. <laughs> I've never lied. <laughs> I've not said one factually incorrect thing on this podcast. Ever. No, not in our year not of once. recording. I, I dare you. I dare you. P- pull Find up the facts. I dare you. Find something. Find a, you find you a compilation find of everything we, we said wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, you guys are definitely right. I do think we are aging much faster as a generation, given a lot of the stress, the, you know, the things that we do to our body and probably just the general like bad food consumption. I'm sure that every generation before us had much better yeah. eating habits. That's probably a huge part of it. But yeah. I don't know if the food thing's necessarily true. Really, you I don't think like, so? I think food has gotten uh, actually. I did. It's no, gone better and worse. It's gone better yeah, and worse. Both yeah. sides of the spectrum have like the good has gotten better and the worse yeah, has gotten yeah. worse. Yeah, I think that's just everything these days. If it, whether yeah. it's like food, whether it's health, whether it's politics, like everything, like the, both extremes just get more and more extreme, and it's just it, it just, just gets worse. And worse, up. And worse. Yeah, you guys are right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it's insane. Like, dude, like 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 a. Like a like a small thing of Joe's tea, or like a mm. Snapple, or like any of like those energy drinks, dude. They have seventy grams of sugar. In oh, drinks will kill you. Drinks and will kill people you. People drink like five of those a day, yeah. and it baffles me. I have to say, I don't want to be hypocritical here, but like from time to time, I do like to enjoy them because I, I do like them. So I do drink a good amount of like juice and stuff like that. I have to say. <laughs> he caught himself. I, I heard you catch yourself. <laughs> 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 That was so funny. <laughs> I was I was waiting for him to either correct himself yeah, or call yeah. him out on it. You Wait, said what? you said I, I you said I don't I'm think you even did that intentionally. But I do so like funny. to drink oh, juices. <laughs> then you like juices. Oh, yeah, then you're like juices. Like, uh, even though you are talking about juices, that's just so funny because yeah. <laughs> you make it sound like it's such a bad thing. Like you know, once in a while, it's okay to drink some juice, man. Like, juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, you don't understand. I got my. I'm healthy. I got my gallon jug of water right here. Oh, you're a wrestler oh, now, huh? Carry around your water. Oh, yeah, around, yeah. All around school. Yeah, this is my, uh, what are those water bottles called? Like the really stupid, annoying ones? Like the, with the oh, God, the, the fucking one. Stanley Cup? Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, this is my Stanley Cup. So, yeah, at least my version of it. Yeah, Unless you I play stay. hockey, I don't want to hear shit about a Stanley Cup, man. Like, it's every white girl's dream, bro. Stanley Cup is I, every yeah, white, white girl's, girl's dream. Get, man, white girls get a new dream every filtered. year, man. For real, bro. For real. They, they got to learn something. So they got to learn something from the month of January, man. One dream can be powerful. One dream can be powerful, man. I'm okay, man. I had I'm a dream. Okay. I'm Shout okay. Shout out, I'm okay. 
A, a dream. That's all I'm talking. I had a dream that the Ravens would go to the Super Bowl, but obviously <laughs> dreams don't come true, guys. Don't believe me. The month of January destroyed true. that dream. Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, the White Girls just have it all, man. Stanley Cup. Yeah. Yeah. They have their fits, the, like the Nike shorts, the Nike socks. You know, the the White Girl music, though, I do have to say. Mm. The White Girl music is the one thing that I cannot say is bad. Because I love they got a sucker for white girl music. I got it. I am a sucker for white girl music, bro. The showers be going crazy. Oh yeah, with white girl music, <laughs> crazy, crazy. Every single time it's Honestly. a party in the shower. It's actually how what, I hype myself up for the day. What What makes a song white girls music? What makes something white girl music? To you? It's the vibe. It's Ooh. like I hopped off the plane at LA. Yeah, LA, my yeah, dream, yeah, my again. Again. yeah, yeah, I know. Like, it's, 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 a it's a vibe. Bro. It's a vibe. Am I gonna fit in? I'm gonna try to the first time. Look to me, see my Hollywood time. Time. This is all so crazy. crazy. Dude, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like something about this kind of music gets every single person. I don't yeah. care what race you are, yeah. what gender you are, hype. where you came from, your background. Hype. Everyone gets hype. I was recently. I was at one of my frats um, pre games and. I was like, I got the person who had aux their phone and I started like looking for music and I like immediately queued up like, you know, a few of those white girl songs. And from that moment, everyone just starts getting so hyped. All you hear is Jeez. people yelling at the top of their lungs. And it's so fun to like, well, what was in know. the queue? What was in the queue? I think we had California Let's get that girls. FIFO. I think we had some Katy Perry in there. I forget what songs. Better but have had, had some Rihanna in there. You better have had some Rihanna in there. I, I think Rihanna is my Rihanna. Rihanna is the queen. Bro. Uh, the queen. That's not white girl. Some, bro, she's literally Only black, some of her music, like, bro. Only some of her music. White, music. white girl music is a category. You know, it's not a not a it's not a race thing. You don't got to make it a race thing all the time. Okay. And, okay. Anything can be included in white girl music. It's just songs that white girls listen to. It says a lot yeah. then if Rihanna makes the best white girl music. I'm just saying she does. It, it says a lot. Around. It says a lot. It says a lot. That's a hot take, I mean, but is it all? Whoa! You guys don't consider Rihanna's music? No, I do. I do at all. I, I don't no, know. I, I don't. Consider, I don't think I consider, consider it white artist. music. No, I think I don't consider I her the best white girl music. White music. Yeah. So what would, white girl so music, I think, has to be from club, club music. She's club, yeah, she's yeah. Then, music. then yeah, then yeah, yeah. She's easily top. I think my best. I think just pop bangers. Pop bangers. She's she's one. But that's She's the thing. When you say white bangers. girl music, like I include Bruno Mars' songs in white girl music. That's what I was about. That's what I was about okay, to say. Okay, Bruno I, Mars. I see what you mean. Then I see what you mean. Then yeah, yeah. Bruno Mars is the best white girl music. But I still yeah, think Bruno yeah, Mars yeah. and Rihanna uh, still have some uh, some yeah, vibey uh, differences. You know what? No, you're right. You're right. It's more the vibe. It's not really the. It, it doesn't matter the race actually. And and if we're yeah, going off yeah. that, Bruno Mars got to be up. Bruno Mars probably has one of my favorite like non rap albums. You know, the, his first two albums he made, and they're just there's not one miss. There's not one miss. How is that possible? That on, dude, your first studio album. You go through that track list. I remember hearing almost every single one of those songs on the radio at some point. Beautiful. How does that happen? Beautiful. Unless you're an industry this. plant, how does that happen? This. It's actually crazy. honestly. Let me say this: you could go through a Bruno Mars playlist, and almost every person in a room will be able to sing mm. that song at with you. At least one. And at least one. And it's gonna be the entire playlist. It's like yep. when I was your man. That's what I like. Oh. Like talking to them. There's moon, so many underrated ones. Locked out of heaven. Locked out of heaven. Marry you, dude. Many. Oh, dude, yeah. I went through yeah. his whole discog recently, like I think last year or something. Even during senior year of high school, I went through it deep. Dude, there's so many underrated ones. Natalie is a great one. If I knew yeah, is a great, great one, if you have song, not heard them in a while, great song, great great song. Great song. amazing, amazing. Some of my favorite. Bro, Jason Derulo. Jason, Jason Derulo is Derulo. Be up there. I've Come never on. been a fan of Jason Derulo, dude. I've never been a fan of Jason Tonight. Derulo. Take me to the other side. The, the only songs, the only songs. I'm right, I'm that how loud. I'm right, I'm right, that's how loud. Or what? I only really liked trumpets and like what you said. Oh, those are like my two. That good in my opinion. I love trumpets, dude. I love trumpets. Trumpets is overrated. Song. Trumpets great. is overrated. The trumpets, great. there you go. Nowhere near his top. Nowhere trumpets. near his top. No. Okay, he's Fine. done too much, no. too many good it's songs to be uh, considered his top. Guys. I want you to listen to this. You know, I said I love Rihanna. I do. Mm. She's like probably my favorite, you know, white girl music song artist, whatever that category is, <laughs> right? And so, if you had to say your top five white girl songs, what would be 
your top three at least. You know, I'm down to give it to mm. do a top three. Top five is kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. Top yeah, let's top do top three. three, top three. Um, okay. Oh, that's tough. I think everyone's it's funny one, because everyone's one should be Umbrella by Rihanna and Jay Z. Mm. No, no, no. no. Put it on one. I, I don't just put, put Umbrella in that same category. I just, I, I just uh-huh. can't. I can't put Umbrella there. I, uh-huh. put I don't Umbrella. think Umbrella's even top for Rihanna. <laughs> Uh-huh. Let me tell you this. Uh-huh. Umbrella's you this. not even not Umbrella's not even Rihanna's number one. What, number one, I think, it's just Whoa. it's the white girl anthem is party in the USA. It just my has to. Oh uh, no, no, no! That song I actually that song sucks. With all my heart. I'd rather listen to "Call Me Maybe" right. than "Party in the USA," man. Yeah, yeah, no, no. no. "Call Dude, Me Maybe" at least has more nostalgia to it to us. Like, what? Dude, Party in the USA right is thing, a little bro. bit before our time. Also, I feel like. No, it's not. I feel like we were a little too young when "Party in the USA" came out. I don't know, but no, you, no. I think it was a big part of just, my childhood. Like, call, just, call me maybe song. was was like that version for us, pretty much. When we were around that age, that, that was what, like the annoying white girl song for us. What, what, but like, what? I thought that was a bad. What makes you think "Party in the USA" is not great, Rich? You were just singing it along with me at the beginning. Wait, "Party in the USA." I just think like it's not the best. Though. I know it's a good it's song. Not the best white girl song. It's not I'll the best. Nowhere near. You play it. I'll vibe to it. Simple. I'll vibe to any white. I think. I think there's one. There's one song we're all forgetting. And I, I, okay, I'm gonna need everybody to sing along when, when you hear this, all right? Because everybody knows this one. Uh oh, what song is it? I heard that you, that you settle, settle down, 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 then you, that you found a girl, found a girl. And you're over. Dude, I, I genuinely, Mary I think now. I know the entire song by heart. Guess yes. gave me things. things I couldn't I give, to you. give to you. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. If that's your oh, one, that's sad. That's sad. What? Huh? I don't think. Yeah, that's it's, not a, it's not a white girl song. It's not a white girl song. Oh come on! No, no, no. Dude, Dude, I don't think it's definitely oh, a white girl song. How is this song, song. It's sang a... by a little white girl? Not white girl music. No, 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 <laughs> you're getting it wrong are you you're making this too much about race man like it's the white girl music it's about is a, vibe. It's a genre it's a genre it's the upbeat it's okay. the upbeat da, 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 da. like it's happy like, songs gotta, everyone knows the lyrics songs. too like that's yes, white girl music yes. it's not white girls having to sing white girl music adele white is in a category damn, of her you know, it's called white okay, girl music fine my favorite white girl song is gangster's paradise then happy <laughs> Oh, that's not what, <laughs> you're not understanding it, bro. All right, all right. Here's the definition Richie, of white girl. I, I, Richie, I, I just don't think. I, you, I, I don't think. Sorry, right, the I don't think it's no, no, I, I, I got you. I got you. Right, listen to me. Listen. To me. White girl music. My number one. Is, white girl music is songs that everybody knows and can sing. Okay. Crit- mm. Criteria one. Criteria two. Okay. It's okay. usually upbeat or really mellow and sad beat. It's either like mm. it's one at either okay. end of the spectrum. Criteria three. I guess we'll never find That's- out number three. Yeah, we're never gonna find out the third criteria here. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> because you didn't Hello? say it. you didn't say it to Hello? us. What, what was three? What was three? Give us three. Was three. Criteria number three. Okay. Criteria number three is it has to have a line or two, which as soon as you hear it, you can pick up from the rest of the song right after. Mm, That's how okay. well like those songs. I, okay, it sa- it sounds like the Adele song was all three then. I no, literally that, said two words and you no, all knew it. No, no, no I think no. she's a I think it's a white girl song. I just don't think it's don't top think five. It's top. I do not think it's I'll what? tell you why. I'll tell you I'll tell you why. White girl songs I, they have to be very weird, loud. And incinerate that take. No. No, no. no. he just yes. said it could, it could be either You're end. It could be either end. When I was when your I was man, your man is not let me tell you something. Let me huh? Perfect. I don't get that white girl song. I don't get the mic a little bit away from you. I the reason. Let me let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. It needs that level of upbeatness. It can be a a sad song. It could be a song that, Mm. at its core, is not a happy song. Like like absolutely like. Just okay. the way you I, are. I think I get, your, I think I get your. I think I get right? your idea. You're it saying you be, should be able to still belt it out. Like you should still be yeah, loud and be able to yell even if it's yeah. sad. You still gonna. Okay, but come yeah. on. Never mind. I find someone like you. Come on, that's I loud. Think, but that, I think that's that. I think that. I think that goes. I think that goes into a subcategory so. where where a lot of Ed Sheeran songs do lie. A lot of Ed Sheeran songs lie in a similar category as Adele. I don't think it's white girl music. There's no way. That's disgraceful. Like, dude. If you go on Spotify right now, you go on Spotify. Shut right up, now, shut up, no, up, shut up, shut up, Rishi. And Rishi, you're gonna listen to me. You're gonna listen to me. Take off you were, one piece of were, evidence. One piece what? of evidence. We were driving, driving to Taco Bell one day in your car. 
guess who played this song in your car? You put this song on. You, you put it yeah, on. Yeah, doesn't mean that. Word doesn't mean that. You does screamed, not mean I think of white girl yelled, music. You sang okay, it so did you not agree with all of his criteria and that you can belt it out? You added the rule that you should be able to loudly but, express it and belt it out like that. There, I think there's a difference. There's some. There's something about the way the beat hits on a lot of these other songs. It's too slow of a song to be a white girl song. Like a white girl classic is something you hear in like. You know, in a bar or in the club or at a frat, you are not hearing this song. You're not hearing. I'm not hearing when I was your man song. in a frat. I'm not yeah. hearing when I was your man in a frat. No. Yes, yes, you are. You're hearing Bruno Mars songs. Well, you're frat. not Four Bruno stars. Mars, but when not that song. Yes. Not that song. Not that song. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say when I was your man was a was a white girl song. I don't think it is. I don't okay. think it is. I think. Okay. I think okay, Grenade fine, is. Fine, a, I think fine. Grenade is a white girl fine. song. There's. I can there's a, a, I can a lot, like I, I understand that genres okay. are, are very subjective. And I think white girl music is a very new genre that, you know, is coming out mm. into the light in this modern day. I think over over time it may it may finalize, but as of right now Okay. Then then I think my one is either going to be and ironically neither of them are white. I'm gonna say Diamonds, Rihanna, or Halo Ooh. Beyonce. Oh, Halo Beyonce. Man, I forgot about Diamonds. Oh, what about Only Girl by Rihanna though? No, not better than Diamonds. Oh. Dude, the, oh, no, the last man. the last chorus, the last round of the chorus, when the beat cuts oh, out, the little pause. No. So not shine even, not, even bright. not even white girl music. You Dude, also, I. people are sleeping on Halo. Halo is one of the most beautiful songs oh, of the 2000s. Be my oh, my. Halo, 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 Halo. Oh, come on, bro. Such All a right. banger. Okay. All right, give me, give so, me your ones. Give me your ones. Oh, man. That actually wants to make me change my one. I'm not gonna lie. Like I really want to change it to diamonds. No, I'm really not gonna. Diamonds lie. is better than umbrella. I'm telling you. I think I'm gonna change it to diamonds. To be honest, I think I'm gonna have to yeah. agree with diamonds being. Number if you one. were gonna go for the Jay Z Rihanna link up, you should have went Run This Town. Run This Town's better than umbrella. No. Yes, it get is. Get out of here. You get a you get a way Both better. You, you get the better. You get the better Jay Z verse on that song. Both of you and, combined. And, Both of you combined just gave worse takes than Benny the Butcher and J Cole being. The one of the best duos of all time. <laughs> incinerate, incinerate your takes. Incinerate them. Great album, Dude. by the way, Benny. Great, great just, album, by the way, Benny. Invalidated, Love the album. Love the, the album. Whole podcast with both of those takes. <laughs> Atrocious. I never want to see that again. I, I, I just made that take. <laughs> I think the biggest issue for for me here is that your your boundaries are just different than mine. I'm I'm putting I'm putting part in the USA. Last Friday night. Locked out of Last heaven, Friday all of that. Oh, yeah, God. those are good. Last Friday night. I mean, the most night. iconic white girl song is Friday. Friday, Friday, getting it down on that. That is the staple white girl song. No, like not. you can no, hate it not. as much as you want. That if you th if you ask someone a white girl song, you, that is the, probably the first thing that comes I, to their mind. I'm almost certain. No, nobody likes it, but that is the most iconic. No, that is the I most disagree. iconic. I'm almost, I'm almost certain. If you were to go on Spotify and search up white girl songs, or even Apple Music and search up white girl songs and look for public playlists, they would all include "Party Is USA" as one of the top few. Okay. While he does that, I want to bring in yeah. a, a different take. Um, I want to just say two honorable mentions, which I think should be somewhere close to here, which I think that people forget about a lot, and which are bangers. Like, I know I, I can go bar right. for bar on both songs. I know I can go bar for bar on both songs. I want to talk about Replay by Yaz and oh. Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. Dun. No, Trap Queen trap is trap not white girl music. That's not white girl music. Trap Queen's not white girl music. That's not white girl music. Hey, but we're not talking great songs. We're talking white group music. <laughs> Baby girl, you're so damn fine, though. I'm I think we left out a lot of big yeah. artists, honestly, now that I'm looking at this, bro. Yeah, we left out yeah. Justin Bieber. We left out the Biebs, man. We left I out the Biebs. Justin Bieber at some point. I no, we didn't. We left, we left out... <sighs> Rishi, we left out Neo. Neo's not top five either. Not for white No. Group. Iconic? Okay, like, iconic okay, okay. Longevity? I don't think he's there. I think he's one of my favorite, personally. But generally, really? not. yeah, that's crazy. Um, I think Chris we Brown. Also talk you put Chris about, Brown in there. Chris Brown's definitely somewhere up there in the yeah, top Chris ten. Should be in there. Well, we have to talk about Starships by Nicki Minaj. Starships, ships, women to fly. Yeah, that's oh, another, yeah, that's yeah, another yeah. song. Banger, banger, Yo, and banger. let me tell you, let me say something. Those those SoundCloud remixes of that would go so hard in the gym back in senior year when I used to listen to that. 
They yeah, were the yeah, best. Yeah. The yeah. best. Dude, yeah, honestly, I'm I'm gonna say this right now. I think we're thinking too much about the singers. We're not giving enough respect to the DJs who made probably all of the best bangers all of our generation. Best, David yes. Guetta, bro. David yeah, Guetta David has Getta. a monopoly David, on the white girl music, bro. David but bro, Sexy Bitch is one of the most in like it's a crazy, like nostalgic song in my opinion. Just memories. hearing the opening memories. Memories. Oh my memories. god. Dude, David Guetta yeah, ran this right. world. Titanium? He made Titanium too? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't think you touched David Guetta. I don't think you touched David Guetta. I don't yeah. think Dude, it's honestly like, like I was talking, like I was thinking about it before. Oh my god, like top five. Like it should be the easiest. This is a hard category to get this to is top hard. three in. I There's think part of it is, the, I, I really think part of it is the boundaries are not well defined enough. I just, I just think mm. we're reaching artists from every, every big genre category. You're pulling artists from, you know, what you would sometimes consider hip hop, pop. You'd consider some from other genres, more R and B. I think they all kind of mix together, and you cr- kind of create this like amalgamation of like most yeah. interconnected music from every genre. Okay. that's why it's so difficult. You know what, we didn't even hit Taylor that. Swift. We didn't even hit Taylor Swift. Oh, burn, and she is the burn. the definition of white burn. girl. She's the definition no, of white girl. No, I disagree, Rishi. Rishi, I will say this, and I will Get live around. on this. We I hate. Oh, never, I ever, hate, ever. I hate. Swifties, I hate the I hate the existence so of Taylor Swift in pop oh, culture. Coach, right now. But, her coach, songs, but, but, her but her songs, but her songs, <laughs> but her songs are coated. But her songs are goated. No, you're so coated. Oh my god! No, let the Swifties How could you even say me. something like that, bro? How could you let say the Swifties like come that? after what? me? What? Let the Swifties come after oh me. Oh my I will god, guys! I want to make it to the day I dead. Wow, I dead. guys! Let let the let her read their show. By the way, I Ari Nair am staying and saying this right now. I stand by three things in this life. One, Shamander is not a Pokemon. Two, all kids should use skincare products. And three, Taylor Swift makes the best music in the world. I agree with that. I agree. I think she's <laughs> a great artist. I just don't like her fan base, and I don't like her. That's simple. I've I've said this. I've said this a thousand times. In conversation with other people, and I'm gonna Damn, say, Damn, you just before. attacked her person, you attacked her character, man. What did she I do, do to you? Like, I do not like, like her. her. You just said, I don't dance. like her. Oh my god, <laughs> I love the music, I love the All music, right. hate the rest of it. Um, All right, let, let, let's get a final rep. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I want to say that I do agree with Nish. I think we did misinterpret this. I think instead of doing white girl music, we did sing in the shower songs. We did sing along songs. And that's the criteria we built instead of the white girl music. So I do agree that we can narrow this down to white girl music because there is certain songs which now I'm looking back at it don't belong in that category. Yeah. So I just yeah. I think a conversation for next time, but these are our sing in the shower songs. Yeah. yeah let, let's exactly. get a final final rundown. What's your number one? I think oh, this is tough. Okay. It's really tough for me between Locked Out of Heaven, Diamonds, and, and Diamonds, Halo. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm I'm gonna go Locked Out of Heaven though, just because I hear Locked Out of Heaven and I can literally be transported to a specific memory I have of listening to that song in the back of my parents' car, playing Pokemon Black and White, dropping my mom off at some restaurant. <laughs> Like I, I, I can remember it so vividly that I can't not choose that song. I, I think for me, if we're uh, changing this category to songs you can sing in the shower, undoubtedly it has to be some Adele song. I'm a big Adele guy. Oh. Um, but, but uh, I, I, again, it, I, it didn't fit in my category for white girl music. I think it definitely fits in the category of songs you sing your heart out to in the shower. So I'm going to put Adele, just Adele. Adele is my... <laughs> Adele is my number one spot. Mm. Sure. Okay, that's like it's it, fair. It's kind of like fair. It's kind of like Prem his favorite moments. Prem's favorite moment. <laughs> it's the whole year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's the goat. She's the goat. She's the goat. I'll go with someone like you. I'll. I'll someone I'm like put you. It yeah. Thank you. Someone like you. Best number song. one spot. Great song. Good. I'll stick with it. I'm sticking with Rihanna. It's simple. Diamonds. Which one? You Which just one? Did Diamonds. Okay. 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 Diamonds. That's good. That's good. I think that's easily her best. Easily her best. I think so too. Oh, um, guys, comment down below what you guys think. What is your favorite, favorite white girl, girl song, song or song to sing in the shower? Yeah. 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 Let us know where you think we fucked up. Let us know maybe if somebody stepped on the toes of your favorite artist right here. <laughs> Nishk. <coughs> Nishk. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to cover with a cough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was, a little I, too that was a little too late, man. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, no. That was, that was just the COVID. <laughs> That was, that was like a genuine cough. <laughs> All right, we got we got some time, guys. You want you want to hit this last meal? Sure. 
All right, guys. Quickly. I've been thinking a lot about this, right? Do you guys know Good Mythical Morning? Rhett and yeah. Link, the goats of YouTube. So the they OGs. have their mythical kitchen. They, the OGs, man. They have their mythical kitchen channel where uh, the chef, Josh, goes through and has a series interviewing celebrities and making their last meals for them. I've seen Gordon Ramsay on there. I saw Jason Kelsey on there. Bunch of big stars going on there and talking about their last meals. Guys, I want to know. You commit a crime. You're sitting in the electric chair tomorrow. What is your last meal that you want to eat? You can choose any restaurant, any person cooking, homemade food. It could be if you want to. You get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to give you all of them right now. I'll tell you this for sure. I know for a fact that my taste just depends on the day. But one thing that is always something I will be very, very open to is pizza. So I think a really Mm. well-cooked margarita pizza, You know, some fresh basil sprinkled on top. That margarita, Ooh. like the cheese, the Ooh. mozzarella cheese, just pulling apart. Ooh. I think I think I'd put that up there. I think I'd put that as my oh, maybe my last meal. Yeah. You know, this is kind of tough because I'm going to give you guys kind of a vague answer, but I think it's a pretty good answer. And I think my last meal before I die would be my mom's cooking. Whatever my mom decides that she wants to bless Aww. me with that day of, I would want yeah, it to be my mom's sweet. cooking because that's Aww. like it's not not even like trying to be sweet. Like it's the food. It's like I grew up with that food. You know, that's like that's like if my mom puts it on a table, I'll scarf it down. Yeah. Two bowls, three bowls, four bowls, no matter what it is, because I love it. Yeah. No matter what. My and mom with Indian moms, really. you know that course is lasting you the next oh, week. You extended oh, your life right there, man. You extended yeah. your life right there. You know, it's it also takes a lot to prepare. <laughs> she, comes, she comes while I'm on the chair. She's like, but I eat more, eat more. Yeah. And I'm just. <laughs> Damn, that's a, that's a cheat code, man. I didn't think that's, about extending your life with with the with the Indian mom food, man. I didn't think about that. If if that's All allowed, right. if it's if it's if your mom can produce it, and it's not the cook in the back, like Ari was talking about. Then yeah, 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 no, any that, anybody um, you want, anyone you want can mom, make it. Oh, so I'm for my mom. I, I was I was okay. If you have, you, have, you have to choose, you have to choose one dish from your mom, though, Rishi. What what what's your mom's best dish that you want as your last meal? <laughs> Hello, he's gone. I'm gonna give my answer if he's gone. Sorry, yeah. I'm here. So no, that again for me. Okay. All right. If it's your mom, get it down to one meal, one entree. What what meal do you want her to cook for you? I was afraid you'd ask this question. Oh, God. Narrow it down. Rishi's mom, if you're listening to this, by the way, which I'm sure you are, hello. Uh by the way, Rishi, this is the only meal he likes. You know, he he said he hates all of your other food, man. This is this is clearly the only <laughs> meal he likes if he wants to only eat this one. So just saying. Okay. <laughs> um one meal. That my mom makes for me. Oh my when god! I'm always excited. Again. Wow. One meal. <laughs> sorry, hello. one meal that my mom yeah. makes for me that always gets me excited. Oh, two meals. I'm gonna combine. It's a platter. It's a platter. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can go platter, um, platter, platter it up. For the Indians, if you're familiar, it's called vada pao. Vada pao is mm. basically like bread with a potato patty inside of it, and obviously flourished with Indian spices. And the second thing I would have. Is also potatoes, but it's called alu sabji, and alu oh. sabji. But it's like the dry one with um with booty, which is like a type of bread. We'll never learn about the alu sabji, man. It's it's the edge of my seat. Alu sabji. Sabji. What's alu sabji, man? Alu sabji is is just potatoes. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> so, it's like, so it's like basically the same thing that's inside vada pao, but you know different form. That was that was, think, that was comedic. Deconstru- de- de- deconstructed vada pao. <laughs> Deconstru- <laughs> <laughs> um, what about you guys? Your mom's I'm, I'm meal. definitely one meal. I'm, I'm definitely, uh, dude. There's something. Okay, so my mom makes homemade pizza quite often. Every time I go back for Ooh. break, and usually there's at least one okay. pizza night. And I don't know what it is about this pizza. I can never make pizza better than hers. And no matter how hungry or how full I already am, like I've come home from like hangouts with friends or going out for dinner, I'll come home and the pizza's being made, and I will still scarf down an entire like pie and a half and these are these are like these are pretty large oh, pies yeah. these are like they're sizable oh, yeah. pies i will Damn. still eat 10 like slices of that pie and just keep going it's just it's that costco like, make it your own pizza me. no mm. literally it, yeah. it's, it's something else <laughs> yeah. what about you yeah, homemade is what really just costco that? coming in clutch there man <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's homemade i put it in my own i put it in my home's oven the oven's in my home 
All right, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like they, they, they give you a pizza maker. They give you the dough. They give you sauce. They give you cheese. Oh, you okay. Can actually okay. make the actual pizza, not the frozen. Really? No, no, okay. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Those those are like pretty staple in my family, at least. Ooh. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. I, I if I'm going off these... my. Yeah, go I was just gonna say I I just be waking up sometimes coming downstairs and I just see a bowl of there bowl of like <sighs> dough fermenting and you you know you pull up oh, the yeah. like the <sighs> saran wrap and you just see all the bubbliness of like the dough that's been fermented. No, I gotta pull up for pizza night one night, man. Oh my god, that's already <laughs> sounds so pull good. Up. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, if I, if we're going off mom's cooking, I'm taking oh, my mom's goodness. enchiladas. Where was watching? I I, I don't think I can get dish. those beat. I don't think I can get them beat honestly. Like that's probably my favorite thing that she makes. Actually, this whoa, is whoa, tough. Whoa, I, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. What is it? What is it? I said my mom's enchiladas. I feel like it's really oh hard God. now that I'm oh going back and thinking through. Because I I'm take sure, everything back. Rishi, I, I was gonna say I'm surprised back. you didn't say that. I know you love your. I know you love oh your mom's my enchiladas. God, my mom's enchiladas, hands down, best thing ever. I'm surprised you didn't. Say, I thought Trump's when everything. you said two things, I thought I thought I was waiting for that to come up when you said two things. I was really shocked. Let Dude, me my say, mom's enchiladas. enchiladas instead, instead, instead of going for enchiladas, you decided to go with vodapau and deconstructed vodapau. That's that's what you went for. <laughs> oh my Dude, god! I, enchiladas are are like magical food, bro. I, that was my that was my oh, yeah. option. That's so was, annoying, guys. On God, I was picking between enchiladas and pizza yeah, you don't for what my mom would make. My, my you know, I'm just looking at oh, frozen yeah. frozen screens right now, guys. Oh, sorry. Yeah. While I was frozen, I was giving everybody a rundown of what I'm seeing. And I was just telling them how I'm seeing the uh, frozen screens and nothing else. But uh, I know Nish can attest to my mom's enchiladas. I know you've had it multiple times in your life, I man. Definitely have. I definitely those have. things are those things yeah. are special, man. I eat like six. Of great. Them. I remember one time. Uh, this is when I was doing my six hours for my permit. I was driving around with my instructor. Pulled up in the driveway. He asked me, "Oh, what are you gonna do now?" I said, "Oh, I'm gonna eat some lunch." He said, "Oh, what are you gonna eat?" And I said, "Enchiladas." And he was like, "Wow, enchiladas." You must have a great mom. And I was like, damn, I'm not going to forget that, man. You know, like, yeah, one million never going to forget that. If your mom makes you enchiladas, you know, she may be the greatest mom in the world. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to leave it on the note that when I came back to college this time, I packed a ton of food. And part of that food was like, I think 15 or something frozen enchiladas that I just stuck in the oh. freezer. And for the first week and a half of school, I would just air fry, put some enchilada sauce on, put some cheese oh. on, and just scarf it up every single day oh, this is my lunch God. for a week dude maybe oh, I'm thinking maybe about because, because i've been at college ever dude you're making me yeah. so hungry because i've been like so deadly sick these last few days i could barely yeah. eat i'm oh yeah, my god I dude I'm, I know. oh i just want to tell you guys so while i'm recording right now uh, a couple of my friends went out to a place called dip and smash also we're not sponsored by them but i'm just saying like you know you know we're about to try this place and there's it's like a custom don't customizable donut place so i got a donut Ooh. with strawberry um frosting cinnamon toast crunch and nutella glaze on top and after wow, we're done shooting it i'm about to go and completely devour it devour it like devour it like oh all this food God. talk is making me hungry so i'm just about to enjoy this donut 10 times more hey, and yeah, we don't want guys- to up here we don't want to hold yeah, you Yeah, we don't want to hold you back. So guys, on that note, it's been a great episode. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And yeah, follow us on all platforms. We'll see you next week, guys. See you, boys.